I'm Jun Tao, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve template validation and template format errors in CloudFormation. Let's get started. If you receive JSON not well formed or YAML not well formed errors, then you have the AWS CloudFormation Designer option available to validate the syntax of your CloudFormation template. CloudFormation Designer is a graphic tool for creating, viewing, and modifying CloudFormation templates. With Designer, you can diagram your template resources using a drag and drop interface, and then edit their details using the integrated JSON and YAML editor. With the integrated JSON and YAML editor, you can also quickly validate the syntax error in the template. Let me give you a quick demo on how to do that. Log into the AWS Management Console with your credentials. I've already logged in here. Navigate to the CloudFormation Console. Choose Create Stack and select with New Resources option from the drop-down list. On the Create Stack page, select the option Create Template in Designer, and then choose Create Template in the Designer button on the bottom. After you choose the button, you will be redirected to the Designer Console. On the bottom of the page, select the Template option, and then choose the appropriate option based on the template language. The two available options are JSON and YAML. I'm going to select YAML for demonstration purposes. Now you can start creating a template in the template editor area directly, or you can paste your template into the template editor area if you have already created a template. After you've created and added a template, you can choose the check mark button on top that says Validate Template. If there are any validation errors, they will appear under the Messages tab at the bottom right corner. The message will contain the path of section where the validation error was detected and the corresponding error. Edit your template to resolve the errors, and then choose the Validate Template button again. If there are no syntax errors, the Messages tab will be clear and won't display anything, which means that it did not detect any syntax errors. You can then choose the Create Stack button on top and proceed to creating a stack workflow. If your template resides in an Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket, add a template URL tag to the command and specify the template URL. The resulting command should look like this. If your template resides on your local computer, add a template body tag to the command and specify the path of the template after the tag. The resulting command should look like this. Upon running the command, the template will be run. If there are any syntax error detected, they will appear along with the line location of the error. You can then proceed to edit the template to resolve the errors. For error mentioning unresolved resource dependencies in the resources block of the template, you can perform the following troubleshooting steps. Confirm that resource logical IDs are defined in your template. If you are referring to a logical ID of another resource that is getting created in the stack, then verify if the reference value property matches the name of the logical ID of the resource. If you are referring to a parameter property in the reference value, then verify if the parameter property is defined and the name matches the reference value. In this template example that I have, Test is referenced for the image ID property in the YAML template. Because the template doesn't include a resource logic ID with the name test or a parameter named test, the template will return the following error. And resolve the resource dependencies test in the resources block of the template. To resolve the error, either define an appropriate parameter in the template with the name test, or if you are referring to a resource in the template, Verify if the logical ID of the resource matches the value test. If you receive an error mentioning, every default member must be a string, or an recognized parameter type, or invalid template parameter property, then consider the following troubleshooting steps. Verify that the type of the parameter is set to one of the following, string, number, list number, or comma delimited list. Verify the parameter doesn't contain any intrinsic function. For example, this template has an error, 
and recognized parameter type strings. That's because the type in the parameter A is strings, not string. After we change it to string, we then pass the previous error, but have another error of every default member must be a string. That's because the default value of parameter C in the YAML templates has the intrinsic function function sub. Any intrinsic function in the value will cause an error. For an error mentioning, every condition member must be a string. Consider the following troubleshooting steps. Verify that the condition is specified as a string in the CloudFormation template. For example, the condition in the resource is specified as a list of strings instead of a single string in the following example YAML template. This results in the following validation error. Every condition member must be a string. To resolve this error, you can add a condition, condition A and B, in your template, and then use condition A and B as the condition for the resource. After you do that, the template should look like this. We can see the template is valid now. If you receive an error mentioning unrecognized resource types, consider the following troubleshooting steps. Verify that the resource you have specified is available in the region where you are trying to deploy the stack. For example, in this template, the resource specified is AWS Location Place Index, which is currently unavailable in region AP South 1. When this template is deployed in the AP South 1 region, it will result in an unrecognized resource type error. To check the availability of a resource in a given region, refer to the resource specification for that region from the AWS CloudFormation resource specification documentation linked in the Associate Knowledge Center article. When you open the link, you can navigate to the resource specification table provided on the page for the different available regions. Choose the JSON link next to the region. A page that contains a list of available resources for that region will appear. If you have AWS serverless function resource type in your template, make sure to include a transform declaration to the template. For example, this template has AWS serverless function resource. Therefore, it's necessary to include a transform declaration in the template, which is mentioned on the first line of the template. Otherwise, it will give you an error of unrecognized resource types AWS serverless function. If you receive an error mentioning the environmental resource does not exist, consider the following troubleshooting steps. If you are hard coding a resource or Amazon resource name for a resource that exists outside of AWS CloudFormation stack into one of your stack's resources, verify the following. The resource name or ARN is correct. The resource exists. The resource exists in the same AWS region as the stack. Consider that some resources accept properties across AWS regions or accounts. For example, if the security group doesn't exist or doesn't exist in the stack's AWS region for an AWS EC2 instance resource in your stack that's specifying a security group, then the AWS EC2 instance resource fails. You will receive the following error message. The security group doesn't exist. The security group value is mentioned as this. Since the specified security group doesn't exist in my account in the region I will deploy the stack, I will receive the error, the security group doesn't exist. If you receive an error mentioning invalid template property or properties, consider the following troubleshooting steps. Verify that your template contains only permitted template properties. To see the list of permitted template properties, refer to the permitted template properties documentation linked in the Associated Knowledge Center article. Then, review the template sections. Verify in your template that the resource specification is specified at the appropriate level under the resource section. For example, in this template, the bucket resource is specified in the same level as the resource section. This returns the following error template validation error. 
invalid template property of properties bucket. The error is caused because the AWS CloudFormation template validator sees the bucket resource as a section level specification, which isn't allowed as a template property. To correctly specify the resource, adjust the level of the bucket resource as follows to fall under the resource section. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.